Hi, third graders. Today we are doing lesson 21, and good news, it's a lot like lesson 20. So if you watched yesterday's video, this is gonna be pretty simple for you, and I'm gonna try to keep it pretty short. So just like yesterday today, we are taking a given perimeter and trying to find all the rectangles that have that same perimeter. Does that mean those rectangles will have the same area? No, but we want perimeter to be the same. So I'm gonna review the trick I taught you yesterday and we will do number 1A from the problem set together. So on 1A, we're trying to find all the different rectangles that have a perimeter of 16. So if you remember from yesterday, we put the target perimeter in a circle, then we divide that number by two and what's that going to be? 16 divided by 2, 8. Then we find all the sets of numbers that add up to 8. And those are going to be the side lengths of our rectangle. So numbers that add up to 8. We could do 1 plus 7. That equals 8. We could also do 2 plus six, that equals eight. What else? Well, we could do three plus five equals eight. And can you think of one more set of numbers that adds up to eight? Four plus four equals eight. So those are the different sets of side lengths for all the rectangles that will add up to a perimeter of 16. So let's draw them, and on your problem set, you can draw these. So first, we have side lengths of one and seven. That's gonna be a long, skinny one. Okay, if we add up those side lengths, we have seven plus seven is 14, one plus one is two. What's 14 plus two? Perimeter of 16. Okay, next we have two and six. It's gonna look kind of like that. Six. Okay, let's check the math. What's six plus six? Twelve. Two plus two? Four. Twelve plus four is sixteen. So, so far, we have two rectangles that have a perimeter of sixteen. Let's do three and five. It's going to look a little more like this. Okay, what's five times two? Ten. 3 times 2, 6, 10 plus 6, 16. Now this one is special, and I want to see if you know why. Side lengths of 4 and 4. It's going to look kind of like this. Okay. Pause the video and say, what's special about this rectangle? If you said that this rectangle is a square, you are correct. All four sides are the same length. If you also said that it's a regular polygon, that's correct too. Regular is when all the sides are the same. So this rectangle is special because it's also a square and it's regular. So, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 4 times 4 gives us a perimeter of 16. So how many rectangles have a perimeter of 16? 1, 2, 3, 4 rectangles. So that's basically what you are doing for your problem set today. Whatever your target number is, let's say next time it wants you to find out how many rectangles there are with a perimeter of 18, then you would just change the numbers up here. Now you'd find all the different um, numbers that add up to nine, and those would be your side lengths for your new rectangles. So something that's interesting is that even though these four rectangles all have the same perimeter, do they have the same area? Let's see. To find the area, we multiply the two sides. What's one times seven? Seven, that would be the area here. Two times six, well, not the same area. Three times five, 15. 
also not the same area, and four times four is 16. So the areas are not the same, but what is the same? The perimeter. So that's basically what you're doing for today's problem set. Use that trick I taught you where you circle the perimeter you're aiming for, divide it by two, find the answer, and then all the numbers that add up to the answer are gonna be the side lengths of your rectangles that make your target perimeter, whether it's 16, 18, or whatever number it's asking you to use. Remember that having the same perimeter does not mean they have the same area. And having the same area doesn't mean they have the same perimeter. That's why we gotta play around with it and kind of find out what works and what doesn't. If you'd like some help with your problem set, come to Max Support at 115. And if not, we will see you later at Read Aloud at 150. Have a great day.